Welcome to this podcast. We're going to be talking about Module 19, Perceptual Organization. In this module, I'd like to focus on Module 19.1, Inform Perception. So we're going to primarily focus on what's called Gestalt Psychology. Remember, you can pause me at any time, but here's kind of a description of what Gestalt Psychology is. Gestalt psychology and the principles of Gestalt psychology have been taken over, for the most part, by cognitive psychology. So there really isn't a Gestalt school or perspective anymore. Again, many of the principles have been taken over by modern-day cognitive psychologists. All right, so let's talk about Gestalt psychology. So again, it has to do with principles of perception, right? About how we make sense of our sensations, how we organize and interpret our sensations. Our sensations. So there are two major principles for our class that we'll need to, to take account of, and that's figure ground, which is in the more reddish color box, and grouping. And grouping actually is a, is a blanket term for proximity, similarity, continuity, and closure. And we'll talk more in detail about what grouping actually is. But let's take a look at figure ground first. So when you think of figure ground, what I actually want you to think about is that the figure is usually the object, the main object that we look at when, say, we're looking at a picture like you are right now on the screen. And ground actually has to do with the background meaning usually there's a focal point in the picture and that which is not the focal point becomes the background. What is often used to show or illustrate this point of figure ground are what are called ambiguous figures. And this picture is an example of an ambiguous figure. And you can see that the figure ground will shift depending upon what you focus on. So if you focus on what is in white, the lion and the um, gorilla looking at each other, the tree and that which is black actually recedes into the background. If you actually focus on the tree, that which is in black, and the birds, then that, that which is in white actually recedes into the background. So we get this sense of figure ground receding and coming forward, but it gives you the exam a very good example of what we tend to focus on, which is like say again in this example, the white becomes the object and everything else becomes the background. It's very difficult, if not impossible, for us to see um, both the tree, that which is in black, and the lion and the gorilla as figures, right? One that has to become the background. That's the way our perception seems to work according to Gestalt psychology. Now we're going to get into grouping. So this is a basic description of what grouping is. Right? And it seems to suggest that our brain works in a certain way um, when stimulus elements are together. And it, they literally, it guides our perception. Grouping principles guide our perception when stimulus elements are together. Let's give you an exam some examples. So for the most part, when people look at this top figure here, they actually complete the triangle. They see a triangle there. Technically, there actually is no triangle there, right? So we are actually completing, we are filling in with something from our perception that is actually not there. There is no sensory information coming to us to, for us to suggest there is a triangle there. So again, perception is more than just sensation. And then if you look at this figure here, most of us will actually follow this sense of continuity, right? We don't actually, most people don't experience, I'm going to erase this again. Most of us don't experience this figure as this, 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 and this. We actually see some type of continuity, and that's where we focus on. Okay? Even though we can honestly say this has been, this is broken up into separate figures. That is an actual, another way to look at that. But for the most part, we see continuity. And then there's another idea about uh, proximity. Objects that are close together are more likely to belong to the, are more likely to be perceived as the same group. So here you can see, even though we have different colors of these dots, we tend to group these together, these together, and these together. And that's because of proximity, the closeness of the objects to each other. Okay? So again, we tend to see these as three distinct groups because of proximity. 
And then we have something called similarity. Objects that are similar in appearance are more likely to belong, to be perceived as belonging to the same group. So a lot of people see a cross, right? And they, so basically, they group the squares together and they group the circles together, okay? So again, these are some of the examples, and we'll give you the definitions of these in a more formal way, but that's kind of how some of these principles work. So here are some definitions of some of the examples of grouping principles we just went over. And remember, you can pause it at any time. And here are, again, a few more examples of uh, Gestalt principles of grouping. And here's a final thought. Okay, so in this, in this podcast, we went over Gestalt principles of figure ground and of grouping and of basic definition of what Gestalt psychology is.